Hello everyone, welcome back. To, uh, in this channel, I teach uh, online how to uh, drive cars, small cars. So today I'm going to look, uh, we're going to look at uh, navigating roundabouts. Also, based on where you're going, as you enter the roundabout, you're supposed to apply the correct uh, indication so that the drivers behind you will know your intention of entering and exiting the roundabout. Roundabout, you apply your left indicator, right? So you will apply your left indicator as you are approaching the roundabout and as you are exiting the roundabout. Immediately you finish exiting the roundabout, you remove... One of the problems that we are facing that uh, motorists are not using indicators as they're supposed to be used when negotiating and maneuvering uh, through a roundabout. So let us look at how you're supposed to use your indicators when you're negotiating a roundabout. So if you're using, going to use your first exit, you will approach the roundabout. Uh, on the lane number one and exit on lane number one. So when you enter, when you're about to enter the roundabout, you will start indicating your left indicator. Get inside the roundabout as you're still indicating. Exit the roundabout on the appropriate lane number one. And immediately after you exit the roundabout, make sure your indicator goes off. If it doesn't go off, uh, automatically switch it off. So that is exit number one. Exit number two is going straight, which is the second exit. Now, when you're going straight in a roundabout, you are not required to indicate at all. You will get into lane number two, uh, continue lane number two without indicating. At the half of the first exit, you begin to indicate left to tell the motorist behind you that you are now exiting the roundabout and immediately you exit the roundabout, uh, make sure that you switch off your signal. So when you're driving straight, enter the roundabout without indicating, but when you approach to exit the roundabout, ensure that you indicate that you're now exiting the roundabout. Now, when you're using lane number three, let's say uh, you're using lane number three and you're not going straight now, but you're going towards your right, then left. So for lane number three, you enter the roundabout the moment you enter roundabout and get into the appropriate lane, begin indicating right. Indicate right and maneuver the roundabout as you're indicating because you're driving right. As you approach the point where now you start uh, turning left, change your indicator to indicate left and exit the roundabout. And immediately after exiting the roundabout, Make sure your indicator is off so that you can proceed to drive straight on. So that is how you indicate on lane number three as you're exiting the roundabout on your right and then on your left, which is actually uh, leaving the roundabout from lane number three. Now, when you're in lane number four, you can exit to your left or you can do a u-turn after doing uh, 180 degrees you can do a u-turn and return to the direction you came from and you can also exit the roundabout by driving straight but again after doing a full cycle which is 360 degrees 
and leave the roundabout either on lane 4 or on lane 3 uh, to drive straight. So those are the scenarios in which you can exit lane number 4. Now when you get you are in lane number 4 and you are getting into the roundabout, you get to the innermost lane number 4 and the moment you get into lane number 4, you start indicating right to your right. And if you're exiting to your left, you change the indication, indicate to the to your left, and you exit on lane number three, on your third exit. If you're lane number four and you're exiting on your third exit, when you're exiting the roundabout using your fourth exit from lane number four, you will enter the roundabout into lane number four within the roundabout, start indicating right, as you navigate around the roundabout and when you're now uh, preparing to exit the roundabout change the indicator to left and join lane number four and then the moment you join lane number four after exiting the roundabout ensure that you remove your indicator so that is basically how you're supposed to use your indicators and how you're supposed to uh, interpret when you are approaching a roundabout.